Today I'll show you how to create your own heart punch card in a tiny heart design that's very suitable for baby dress hems, uh, children's cardigans hems, the top edges of purses, and so on. I'll also show you how to knit with it on any Japanese machine. This is the design we're going to punch. You don't need a very large scrap of punch card material. We begin with one dot, then three, then three, five, five, two, an unpunched space, then another two. Leave an entire column unpunched, then repeat the same pattern left and right, and you will end up with four complete repeats across the card. Each heart only consists of five stitches, but it takes up six spaces because of the space between them. If you start drawing with the heart on the far right, touching the margin, in other words, using the final column of stitches, you will end up with one empty column of potential stitches on the far left, and that's correct. That will make the pattern repeat across. I use grease pencil, otherwise known as China marker, to make my dots. It's not perfect, but it is possible to reposition if you make a mistake. When I zoom way in, you can see the starter hole in the center of each square. That's what we're going to use to align our punch. These holes make it possible to get the holes in the card even enough that the card reader can reliably read them. We align, there's a little pin that pops out at the bottom of the punch. Carefully align it with every hole that you want to punch out and then pull the trigger. Wait until you do feel the pin align with that starter hole. Otherwise, it's just not going to be even enough. Sometimes you have to wiggle around and sort of start to depress the trigger, but you can't totally do it and stay aligned. When you get half of the card punched, you'll need to rotate around and insert the card into the tool from the opposite edge. You can't punch all the way across the 24 stitch width without rotating the card. What I am doing here is trying to get you good views of the work, but that means I'm not doing something that I ordinarily would. I find that if I move the tool in a progressive pattern down a line of holes to be punched, it's easier to get my alignment correct. Now let's insert the card and try it out. And I'm going to show you how to make sure that this card will work on any Japanese style punch card machine. Right now I can still see the hearts, so I know that the holes aren't down at the reader. Set the card reader so that it will advance every row. And for brother, set this to KC. We're not going to actually knit. We're just going to bring a few needles out and watch what they do. Now, as the card advances, eventually we will start seeing needles get selected because we're set on KC, but they're not selecting yet, so we're not there yet. Aha! First patterning row. Lock the card reader on that. It's even simpler on the Singer Studio family. When that lever is in the forward position towards you as you knit, the reader itself will show you whether you're on a patterning row or not. Here we are not. I'm manually rotating the card, checking after every movement of the card. Nothing yet, so we're not to the first patterning row at the point where it engages with the reader, and now we are. Simple. Lock the mechanism on that first row, then we'll knit the first part of our hem, and we'll let the card get to work when we're ready to knit in our hearts. I've already cast on 30 stitches, set the carriage to one stitch size smaller than I want for the main knitting, and I'm going to go ahead and knit a few plain rows with the carriage set for stockinette, because that's the inside of the hem that goes towards the person's skin and we actually want our hearts only on the outside. 
So these are setup rows. For brothers, change to KC and don't change anything else for one row. That way it'll select needles. And generally we increase one whole stitch size when we go to Fair Isle Knitting because it pulls the knitting in a little bit and I am doing that. Also, Fair Isle goes a lot better with a little bit of weight. I'm using a lace weight and the only reason to face the teeth towards me is because I am using a rubber pad on the table and I don't want to snag on it. I'm not using clamps today. And now we set the machine to knit Fair Isle, whatever that may be. It's likely to be called knit in on your studio. It's the top center button on this brother. Make sure the card is now set to advance and you have inserted color two into feeder two. And by the way, with your Singer Studio machines, there is no need to do a setup row. If you're locked on the first patterning row, the machine will respond to that right away. So just set the card to advance. So now we just knit the heart rows with both colors automatically being fed. We can tell we're done with the heart because that row did not knit in any pink. So we can just get that out of feeder two and go back to the few stock knit rows we need to complete the hem. So let's talk about positioning the stock knit and the fair isle. It's a six row heart pattern and you want an even number of plain rows above and below it. So just say that one face of the hem is 10 rows. So you're knitting a total of 20. You knit the first 10 plain, they're the inside. Then the next two plain, then you begin knitting Fair Isle and you're up to eight exterior layer rows and two plain ones. I knitted a deeper hem more like 14 or 16 rows, which I thought was going to be suitable for, say, a little girl's dress. Now I'm hanging the E-wraps to complete that hem, and I will knit it off for you, and we'll have a look. And by the way, hearts are pretty simple, and I've designed them before, so I was not very concerned that this would not come out right. But sometimes when you make a punch card, you come up with a good sketch that you think will work, and when you see it absolutely translated into stitches, you realize you need to punch out one or two more holes to make a prettier pattern. It's totally okay to t keep tweaking it. In this case, it wasn't necessary. I'm quite pleased. Have fun adding hearts to any basic design.